Hello, it's me again. This is Jalixa and welcome to my channel. <laughs> like I had mentioned before in my previous video, today we're going to be doing Tres Leche. It's a Puerto Rican dessert that we love. So this is my spin on it. Um, and hope you guys learn something new. So I just take a regular cake mix vanilla flavor. I'm going to add a cup of water, one third of vegetable oil. And as I do this, I just remembered a funny story. So funny story about Tre Leche. So my husband has a sister and she, this was years ago, and her parents had asked her to bring Tre Leche from the grocery store to the house. And when she did, instead of bringing the dessert, the cake, Tre Leche, she brought three gallons of milk, three different gallons of milk. So that was just hilarious because um, if I didn't mention before, Tre Leche means three milks in English. So she took it way too literal. Um, all right, I'm trying to get a third of oil. I'm sorry, I overdid it, which is the usual. Okay, just gonna pour a little bit out and that should be it. All right, let's just add that in there. Okay. And last but not least, we are going to add three eggs. What is your favorite dessert, cake, whatever, pastry? Share in the comments. I would love to know. And as you guys know, I'm starting up this channel, so I'm fairly new at making these videos. Um, so if you have any tips, any advice as to what I should do, be doing what my content should be please don't hesitate to comment below I am all ears and I love advice so I can't forget little secret recipe I'm not gonna say what it is you guys can guess but you could probably tell and anyways so I am gonna mix right now I don't know how to take this off. There should be a button on I your thumb. I know, there should be, but it's off. There it is. Okay. There you go. That helped. I didn't know that was the eject button. You know, I just kind of, almost like pancake mix. You just want to be able to get that nice drizzle. And now I'm gonna fill up the pan. Mm. All right, so that is all my batter. I also forgot to mention before I even started making the cake mix, I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. So has anybody else experienced, um, you know, anything funny when it comes to baking or cooking? Please share your story below. I'd love to hear about it. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. Again, I set the temperature to 350. I'm gonna put it right, you know what? Let me put it right in the center. Okay. I'm gonna leave it in the oven for about 28 to 30 minutes. While I do that, I am gonna set up the filling of the tre leche, which is literally three different types of milk. So we have the condensed milk, I just like to try to get everything in there. And now this recipe, the three milk recipe that I'm doing, it actually came from a very good family friend of ours, of mine, of me and my family. And it was our old pastor's wife. They retired. Give her a shout out. So Delia, thank you for this recipe of tre leche because it's 
delicious everybody loves it and now it's become you know like the holiday thing everybody wants me to make tre leche and all the events so i put the can of condensed milk i am now putting a can of evaporated milk oh, that sounded so good and then a cup of whole milk so it's a lot of milk and my friend Scarlo, if you're watching this, I can already hear you, girl. You telling me why you putting all that milk? You know you lactose intolerant, guys. I am lactose intolerant, but I can't help it. It's so good, and cheese is my guilty pleasure. I'm not gonna lie. So I mean, you can mix this any way you want. I'm just mixing it with whatever I have. Just kind of mix that in there. Get a good stir and let it cool. So I'm just gonna put this in the fridge while the cake bakes and you'll see what happens next. All right, so now that the cake is ready, we are gonna take it out of the oven. You wanna make sure, oh, that's beautiful. You wanna get that nice golden brown look. We're gonna plop this right here. Oh, and we are gonna let that cool off but we're gonna punch some holes this is so that when we pour the three milks it could just soak it all up like a sponge and that way you get a really nice moist cake i think that's that's enough holes i sometimes overdo it but i just really want to make sure that i don't get any dry edges so now i'm going to put that in the fridge for about an hour or two make sure it cools off before i add the milk all right so i just finished taking out the cake out of the fridge i had let it sit for about three hours i want to say i let it just chill there and i have wrapped it same thing with the filling from the three milks that I'm going to add into the cake. I did wrap it with saran wrap and put it in the fridge. And I'm just mixing it again just to make sure it's all mixed up in there. And now is my favorite part. You get to pour the milk into the cake. So you're going to see as this fills up and the cake as time goes on is sucking all that milk like a sponge you can kind of see already in the top it's kind of going in so after this it's one of those things that once again you then have to wait so although the recipe is super easy super simple as you see um it's just about timing honestly because now i have to put it back into the fridge so that it can all get soaked up or you can kind of leave it out but i like to put it in the fridge so it can stay cold since it's milk um and then once the cake absorbs all the liquid then we put the final touches 10 about 15 minutes have passed and as you see all the milk has been absorbed so it's time for the grand finale my favorite part is putting the nice whipped cream right on it do not be afraid to use as much as you like don't be stingy we're not stingy in this house i'm gonna put the whole thing mm -mm -mm. this is some good stuff now a lot of people such as i love to top it with fresh strawberries i love my tre leche with some fr <laughs> i love my tre leche with some fresh strawberries but you don't have to i know for fourth of july what i did i put blueberries like right here and then I put stripes like strawberries and made it look like a nice uh, American flag for 4th of July so there you have it guys I mean I would love to just cut into it and show you you know what 
No, I can't. I would love to cut into it and show you guys how it looks on the inside. But unfortunately, it's one of those things that, again, you have to wait so that it can just really soak it all up. If I cut into it now, it's going to be dry in some places and moist on others. So what I like to do, if I make this in the morning, by nighttime, it's ready to eat. But if I make it by evening, like I did today, it won't be ready till the next day, till tomorrow morning. So just, you know, a thought if you're going to do this for a party, make sure you time it correctly. But that was it, guys. This is how I make tre leche. And I hope you guys enjoy because I'm sure going to enjoy a piece of this tomorrow. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.